It is a nuclear-proof bunker. Hidden inside one of Stockholm's mountains, it looks like something out of a James Bond movie. But this isn't a movie set, it is real. Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, has picked this spot to store his digital secrets. So how safe is this? This, is a, this facility is built during the Cold War. Uh, it's uh, originally built for the civil defense of Stockholm uh, in case of a nuclear attack against Stockholm. Unlike Amazon, which abandoned hosting WikiLeaks, this company says it's standing by the website. In order to keep the internet transparent and to have an open and free society, uh, there are some values that have to be protected. It seems extraordinary, but what you're looking at is the very future of WikiLeaks itself. Stored inside these two tiny servers, a database of information. Information that people are accessing right now, all around the world. WikiLeaks is coming under constant cyber attack and has used tactics like setting up dozens of mirror image sites on the internet and changing its domain name. One former Swedish counterintelligence officer told me the Americans could take WikiLeaks down, but it will be a controversial move. It's illegal for the American government to do that kind of operations. Uh, I think they w it will uh, hurt their cause. WikiLeaks has found a haven in the same country that wants to extradite its founder, Julian Assange, over allegations of sex crimes. Sweden has some of the toughest information protection laws in the world. Freedom of speech is something people here are proud of. We should definitely not bow to the Americans. We should go our own way. American pressure is mounting here as it has in nations and organizations around the world, to break their ties with WikiLeaks. For now, this Swedish facility is refusing to pull the plug. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Stockholm.